Hey, if you're not busy, up for a little visit with me to the riverside? I've got a twin lure we could use right here. Don't know that I'll be doing you much good, between my inability to use a rod of fishing and my inability to keep quiet, but hey, you asked for it. Ah, this is gonna be so fun. Seems like an awful lot of trouble for some weird fish. Any time now? <laughs> Swim time's over. <laughs> you tricked a fish. Sweet victory. Well, that definitely was a thing that happened. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. The Kokaitis teams with life there by the riverbank again, headmistress. Would you please join me for a look? Ah, oh, very well, why not? I suppose I could use a little walk, and we could use the fish. It was not very long ago that you never would have permitted yourself this type of excursion, nor had the metal to request that I accompany you. Headmistress, you're right. I could be hunting for our enemy this very moment. And you, you've so many responsibilities, yet I'm wasting your time. This was a mistake. Hold, lest you frighten the river denizens. Only then should my time be wasted here, Malenoy. You mistook the meaning of my words. Your capacity to still your racing mind is not a detriment. It is a growing strength. I'm surprised you see it that way. Sometimes I feel I'm losing my focus. Why else would I have brought us here? Perhaps you reason that we each need occupy our minds with other matters for a little while. And we are failing at it by continuing to speak. Let us be still together and direct our focus on the waters there. I much prefer to use a spear myself. Be still. The river always provides, and let no such task ever be beneath us. Together we shine. Moonlight guide you. I thought I saw some movement by the fishing pier. A thorough investigation is probably in order, right? Either that or right here standing guard, right? You know what? Fine. I'll bite. Doubt anything else will. To have been born a fish, a life spent mucking about in the river of lamentation, only to be plucked out by you. What did they do to deserve this? Shouldn't you be the one to know the answer to that? Perhaps it's the will of the fates that determines how we're born. Then you ensure we get our dues based on the choices that we make. It'd be a lot easier if everyone was born on equal footing. But no one in my family thinks life's meant to be fair, other than me. How can life possibly be fair, knowing there are creatures of all sorts, such as those dwelling in these waters? We'd have to put a bit more structure into who decides how mortals are born, or how their souls come back to life. Topic for a different time. Think I saw a bit of movement over there. Make it a fair fight. See one down there. Caught one. Fair 
catch. I prevailed. Gave them a fair shot, didn't we? Real battle of wits back there. Moonlight guide you. Fine. Got these twin lures odd, and I can't exactly use them on my own. You know the rules. Fishing. Oh, my greatest weakness, Goddess. The Waters and I have never mixed too well. But then, who am I to say no to you? Besides, I'm overdue for a short leave, I think. Let's go. It used to be I fished out of necessity alone. The Earth would often be stingy with her bounties, whilst the sea would yield plenty to us mortals if we knew where to look. What's been the biggest difference for you since those times? Not having to eat for sustenance. Not having to watch your mortal body slowly fall apart as you grow older. <laughs> well, you already know a couple of those points if for some reason we were tasked to make a list, but... The biggest difference if I had to choose is that... I finally am free. You're free? But as a mortal, weren't you a king? A mighty warrior, leader of men, and a husband, and a father. Here you have a place of honor too, except we dwell in shadows. Our deeds are never to be told. Well, we shall see about that last bit, but for the rest... Perhaps I got all of the wanderlust out of my system whilst I lived and breathed. Most of it, anyhow. Poseidon can't help you here, little fish. Where are they? Victory is mine. I thoroughly enjoyed our outing, though I still thoroughly hate fish. Say, Lord Moros, would you accompany me to the riverside? I have a feeling your mere presence may help with the evening's catch. I have a way with mortal creatures of all sorts, so I'll accompany you. Yes. Forgive me, though I never have quite understood the compulsion to extract water creatures from their natural environs. I know for mortals it is sometimes necessary sustenance, though others do it for the sake of sport. Why? For mortals, it seems to be an opportunity to assert themselves over the natural world. Though I would take no pride in outsmarting such creatures if I were them. In our case, we safeguard habitats for all the species that we find. That seems like a burdensome responsibility for creatures that ought to take better care of themselves. Well, there's more to it, I suppose. For one thing, it sets a contemplative mood, right? Means we can talk a little bit about matters unrelated to our own burdensome responsibilities. I can certainly appreciate that part. And now we wait. Patience is a necessary skill in this pursuit. Steady, princess. Come meet your fate. Impressive catch. It's something, all right. Perhaps it's good to let the mind wander a bit to such pursuits every once in a while. 